The cry of hunger pervading the land finally reached the ears of the Nigerian Senate on Tuesday. This was as federal lawmakers deliberated on a report of his joint committee asking the federal government to invest more in agriculture and to create an enabling environment for farmers to ease hunger and related economic hardship in the country. The Senate committee report is a loaded nine page uh, document that prefers solution to Nigeria's rising inflation. But what caught the, the attention of the Senate more is the growing hunger in the country. I believe at the moment now, we are at a trade show where everything, nothing should be ruled out because Nigerians want food. The hungry population is an angry population. And so we must do everything possible to put food on the table of Nigerians. I recognize the need for us to protect uh, local production, but at the moment we are under an emergency. Many other lawmakers, including Senator Simon Lalong and Ali Indume, share in the sentiment. As a former Minister of Labor, Lalong holds the view that the hardship in the country could have been better managed if the arrangement to increase workers' salaries had been implemented on time. Because all, most of the things that I've seen, we are seeing today were all some of the things that Mr. President envisaged. And he said, as soon as we continue with implementation, it will reduce the pressure. So what it seems now is that people are just wallowing in the problem and they will drown all of us. So I suggest that we look at the issues and the experts that we have here are even enough the high drama came as the Senate considered the ways and means borrowing of 30 trillion naira, out of which 22 trillion was borrowed from the central bank under former President Muhammad Buhari. It was a borrowing that questioned the oversight functions of the Ninth Senate, with Yobe State bond lawmaker Senator Ahmed Lawal in charge. Lawal was available to explain the Senate's action at the time, as calls intensified for an investigation into what Akpabio believes is a clear case of fiscal recklessness that has brought Nigeria's economy to where it is today. We are saying what you did at that time has put the nation in more mess economically. And therefore, because of the current economic situation we have found ourselves, that there is need for us to look at the details and to know whether they were rightly spent. But then there is somebody that must, 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 must make a statement on this issue. It was not 30 trillion. It was 22. And then, of course, the one we had made it 20, almost 23. So if we have a waste of means that is 30 today, that means something happened between then and now. On foreign exchange management, the Senate expressed concern over Naira's continuous depreciation against the dollar. It resolved to probe an alleged invalid $2.4 billion transaction by the Central Bank of Nigeria, even as some lawmakers consider the raid of the EFCC on Burundi change on Monday as an act of desperation. Naira moves on the 29th of January from 891 to 1,300, and on the 9th of February, when the committee met with the management of the economy, and it was 1,500, Yesterday, 1,700. As I speak, 1,800. Then we need something different to come. The Senate also aligned itself with reports of its joint committee when it called for a thorough probe of 10 trillion naira anchor borrower scheme for rice farmers by the APS Bank. Omo Bazwai, Rise News.